I'm going to start catching up to you guys a little bit here. Definitely can use what's what scores? Do you have to use T scores because we only know S's. So T scores, and also what else? We only know S. And no, no, no. What else tells me I can do anything? Yeah, both sample sizes bigger than uh, thirty. Sigma unknown, uh, N1 and N2, we're getting 30. Degrees of freedom here would be 34. Alpha was, did I say it? Yes. 0.10, right there. Significance is another name for alpha. Degrees of freedom 34, alpha is 0 0.10, and it's a one tail test. Beautiful. 1.307. Positive or negative? Positive. So, you know, I can say it in words again, like we did with if t star is greater than 1.307, reject the null. Support the high. Just like before. Right? If you get in there, that you can reject it all. So I kind of bled over to step three. So step four now is involving that giant z school formula that I think is the same as before. N1 and N2. N1 and N2. Yep. Sample sizes have to be more than 30 if it doesn't say it's normal. I know. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you call this one ones and this one twos, it should be negative. Just because if you call one one and one two, it's x bar one minus x bar two. One way it's positive, the other way it's negative. That's all. It's nothing major. Math coming to save our ass from ourselves and saying, oh, either way you do it, it's fine. Um, now I got to do that formula. So x bar 1, 54, 66, minus x bar 2, 50, 68, divided by uh, 81, 91 squared over 35 plus. 4777 squared over 35. Nice and freaky. Let's see what that comes out to be. Somebody got that already? Shucks. Got it. Wash, how is it? Do you guys, anybody get some? Yep, that's what I got to. 0. 0.248, so like 0. 0.25. Do we make it far enough away? Oh, hell, we only made it a quarter of a step away. Go us, right? Well, it's only about because they rounded. Oh, can you do yeah. that to the last I don't know. I just, for some reason, wrote it there. It's always about. We always round that sucker. Oh, okay. Um, so what does that mean I can do? Or did we, did we make it? What do we do? What, what can I say right there, real quick little phrase? Fail to reject the null. 
so fail to support the high. Because we didn't make it far enough. We only made it a quarter of a step away. It's crazy. So how do I write the conclusion then? Take a minute try to write the conclusion of this. So what's the conclusion? Yeah, we have not found sufficient evidence to, and what was the claim? The claim was the high, so I'm going to use that language. We not found sufficient evidence to support the claim that what? Yeah, that average enrollment at four years is higher than two years. So we're not able to support that. One last little thing, and I'll let you out of here. I get the, the sense that I love that you're here, but some of you guys don't want to do that anymore. Um, this is interesting. I need to come back and look at this further. We'll just talk a little bit about the idea. Somebody just published this. Uh, just put this up here. Where'd it go? So this is really interesting because normally people thought Donald Trump was elected because of the, a group of people that felt they were left behind economically. You always hear that. You hear news stations going out to talk about talk to people that were left behind and all that kind of stuff. This, uh, this study says that instead that they were related to changes in parties' positions on issues related to global dominance by America and the rise of a majority minority America. Issues that threaten white Americans' sense of dominant group staff. So that's inflammatory, to say the least. But it is a study somebody put out there. You can look at it and see if you agree or not. Um, let's look at the, real quick, the thing I want to show you, P less than 0 0.001, there's that little, just to show that, so you have to say that, if you say there's a significant uh, relationship between these two, or there's a difference because of this, you have to show the P value to show the evidence. The smaller the P value, the higher the evidence. I like it, so, it's really kind of nifty. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm going to show you. That was it. Oh, there's so much here, man. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. That's enough for that. All right. So that's, that's enough for today. You guys, don't forget your stuff. Don't forget me to give me back my couple letters. This is you, right? Thank you. Oh, that was me. I was about to say rounding too That's much, but no, you didn't round. But I rounded up. Yeah, just put this whole thing in your calculator. I don't even need to see that stuff. And then you're not having to round anything. Here. If, you, if it works for yourself, okay, but you know, like in general, if something's going forever, I don't want to see that. And if you stop it somewhere, then your answer's going to be off. I mean, what's going on? I'm just saying, be careful.
Don't yeah. round too early. Okay. Yeah, but you didn't Usually I put the whole thing in my calculator anyways, but okay. I just like, write yeah. the smaller version. Okay. But then for this, would you round it? Well, the only problem here was this threw that off. Yeah. So minus one. So that's that's the right idea. That's why you didn't so get I more off. So I would round up for people. Yeah. Okay. If you didn't round up, you would have gotten more points off. Okay. That's what I thought. And then, um, okay, yeah, that's what I said. Okay. We are 95% confident that the interval, this many grams to this many grams, contains the true meaning of the candy. Yep, always round that up so it's a whole number of people. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Sure. That's addressing that. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. So, you are going to correct these drawings. Yeah, then just keep it. Corrections aren't due until the day of the final end. But if I take that from you, then you can't correct it until you're back, which might not be in time soon. So keep it until you're done. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you haven't done that yet. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to remember to bring the bass for you. Is it because I didn't show work? Oh no, just, well, well, you just well, because that's not you didn't do the points just because of that. Yeah, you didn't show work and that you need a T score. That's really all that that's for the T score. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? It's too far around it because the next number is actually supposed to be set. No, no, so if you if you ground down ever, you won't be within this anymore. Oh, okay. You made it less restrictive, so now you're not within 2.2, .2, you're, you're a little over 2.2. So you've always got to round up. Yeah. So if it was less than, does it always have to be a negative number? Well, so your tail should be down here then. So it will be negative. Yeah, and I, I hesitate to say it like it's always. But. 99.9, yeah, yeah, it, it does that. Uh, it was less than negative. Yeah. Yeah, so to be that extreme situation, it should be on the tail. So yeah. let's say the T-score is less than 2.0, 2.4. It's half a negative sum, so is it still? Well, so this has got to be negative, but you would have gotten lucky. It would still be the same yeah, answer. Yeah. 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 All right. Can I, uh, should I, should I, uh,